Alola and good evening everybody. Well, in the game it's afternoon, but where I am it is like 10 o'clock at night. But welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon walkthrough let's play. If you're new to the channel, be sure to catch up on all the episodes I have so far. In the previous episode, we completed the um, island trial for Captain Lima, we defeated the Totem Raticate, and we now are on Route 3. We also, you know, saved Nebby. He was in the um, Seaward Cave. And we got to meet a member again from the Ultra Recon Squad. And we got to battle them. So here we are back again on Route 3. We are now about to begin the process of getting ready to face Kahuna Hala in the Grand Trial of Melee Melee Island. But we already talked to this guy here. You have to defeat everyone on Route 3 to battle him. So there should be a few more people that we can battle. Let's just go look for them. Okay, there's nobody over here. He's he doesn't want to battle because the um we would have saw the exclamation point on top of his head. He doesn't want to battle either. He just looks like he's standing around. Oh, you're a trial goer. I did my own island challenge once long ago. Why don't you come here with me a moment? Where are we going? When you see a rainbow like this, it's a good idea to pray that your journey will go well. It will bring you good fortune. This isn't the typical sort of rainbow, like the ones you will see when the rain lifts, but I think it'll still be effective. I'll be sure to offer up a prayer on this rainbow for your success on the island challenge. Okay, so let's cross the bridge here. Okay, there's someone. I think that's the last trainer. Let's check on our Pokemon real quick. Okay, everybody seems to be in good health. I'll draw out the power of my, my partner, Growlithe, by giving it an item to hold. Okay, I have a water type on my team just for this. So this match should be pretty easy. And he only has one Pokemon. Ouch. It didn't do a lot of damage. It put me in the yellow. We're, gonna, we're just gonna go ahead and use Water Gun. And it was a super effective move, of course. I have to remember to get a growl life for my team, because I know it's going to be available in this game. Okay, now I think... Okay, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and see if we can beat him. I'm going into this battle without healing any of my Pokemon, but... I, I'm pretty confident that we're going to win. Okay, Slowpoke. I don't think Tauracat is the best Pokemon to use. So we're going to switch out. Ooh. Rubin has Spark, and Rockruff has Thunderfang, so I kind of have an advantage right here. But I have to watch out, because I have a feeling that that Slowpoke knows Yawn. And if I don't get rid of it quickly, I will fall asleep. I started, um... Well, no, I actually didn't start, but 
I Mantine surfed on a friend of mine's uh, game just to see how it is. And Mantine surf is like pretty fun. At first I didn't like it because I couldn't really get it. It was kind of hard. But once I got the grasp of it, it was really fun. And I can't wait to do Mantine surf on this game. Okay, wonder who's next after this slowpoke. Butterfree, okay, that'll be easy. This is Toracat will be perfect for this. Okay, just gonna go ahead and use Fire Fang. I mean, I could have used Ember because Fire is super effective against Bug and Grass. My Toracat is now level 20. I think I'm moving too fast. Because if I'm not mistaken, I think the um, amulet you get from um, beating Kahuna Hala only like lets Pokemon up to like level 30 something obey you. We're like 20 something. So I think I'm gonna slow down. My heart feels as light as and clear as the blue sky that appears after a storm passes through. This is proof of the battle between your team and my own. Take it, my strong friend. He didn't even use Roost. You will likely find other trainers like me on the routes of Alola, searching for strength. Challenging them together with your Pokemon will not be a bad reason to take a journey. Okay, we have to make our way back to Iki Town. But I think I'm gonna stop at the Pokemon Tent. Wait, let me check my bag first. And check on, like, how many potions and stuff I have. I have two. Okay, yeah. I'd need to go to the Pokemon Center and rack up on some items. Just to be on the safe side before this trial begins. Hmm. I was hoping a Pokemon didn't jump out at me, but it did. I'm not even gonna bother trying to battle this Pecky Peck because it's like, le yeah, it's level 2 like I thought. I'll only gain like literally 2 experience points. If anybody has started to uh, shiny hunt via the ultra wormhole thing, I want to hear how you guys are doing with that. So if you've gotten to that point in the game, please comment below and tell me how it's working for you so far. Because I've seen a lot of YouTubers that are doing soft resets to get like certain shiny legendaries through like the ultra wormhole thing. And they've done hundreds of soft resets already. I don't know if I have that much dedication to do it. I'm not really a shiny hunter. There are like certain shinies I'll, you know, do SOS chaining to get, but I'm not really that... I'm not gonna say I'm not into it, but it's like, I don't really shiny hunt. Because it's like, it takes a lot of time and dedication, and I simply... I have a day job. Okay, let's heal up. Okay, I'm going to put some Pokemon in the PC because there are some that I actually want to catch. And yeah, so... Hmm. But I think I have a pretty good team. Um, I'm, I know I'm going to need my Psyduck for the trial. Yeah, I don't have... Yeah, um... No, because... Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna keep my Grubbin. I'm gonna put Ekans in the PC. Um... I'm gonna, yeah, I'm just... Hmm. 
Let me check the stats, like the power of the confusion move that's si Matter of fact, I'm just gonna keep it, because the more psychic moves I have, the better. In case one Pokemon gets knocked out in the battle, I can just use the other one. And then when the Grand Trial is over, I'll just put some in the PC, because I'm probably not gonna need all those Pokemon. But it's kind of like no reason I should have a team full of six Pokemon already. Okay, let's go ahead and get us... I'm gonna get like eight potions, so I can have ten. And then I'm going to get five super potions, so I can have ten. I always like to like have an even number. At least ten of a medicine or an item. Unless we're in on like Victory Road doing the Elite Four, I'll have like thirty-something full restores and revives and stuff, individually of course, like 30 of each, and then I only actually end up using a few, but I still like to be on the safe side. Where are we going? Hey, we want to go this way to Iki Town. Iki or Iki, I don't know, but you guys know what I mean. I'm looking forward to see what moves you and your Pokemon will pour your soul into, now that you've gone and cleared your first trial. It's true, I'm not a trainer, so I'm sure I don't really understand how hard it must have been, but even I think it's a great achievement. There's Nebby again. The Melee Melee Kahuna, Kahuna is strong, cousin. He's a trainer who can use Fighting-type Pokemon to the fullest. Might not be a bad idea to work on those Flying or Psychic-type moves. I don't have a Flying-type. I know I should have one, but maybe on my downtime in between me doing episodes, I'll train up a flying type. I've been waiting for this. I have been expecting you. Allow me to properly greet the young adventurers embarking on their island challenges. I am Hala, the Kahuna of Melee Melee Island. Shall we begin? The final, the final trial here on Melee Melee Island will be a Pokemon battle against me, the Kahuna. It is known as the Grand Trial. Well, Dominique, you have been entrusted with the Sparkling Stone by Tapu Koko. Now show me you and your partner Tarakat and your team's full power. Old Hala here will also be going all out. Let the grand trial begin. You are challenged by Island Kahuna Hala. Island Kahuna Hala sent out my chop, Matt Chope, whatever. Hmm. Although I should have rearranged my team, but whatever, we're in the battle now. I'll switch out once Machop faints or Toracat faints. Hopefully Machop faints first. And he did. Makuhita, okay, we're gonna switch his NK no Psy wave. Okay, the, the the power of this move varies, but it should take it out in maybe one or two turns, but I flinched. Didn't take out as much HP as I thought. Oh, and I forgot NK knows Peck, so... I have even more of an advantage. Oh man. 
that move can last two to, from two to five times. Oh, and I got hit the whole five times. Oh my god, he avoided the attack. Okay, but Michael, he didn't use sand attack, so it wasn't a physical move, it was a stat change move. And it lowered my accuracy. Here we go again. Please stop at like two. I think you have to be really lucky if your move constantly hits five times in a row. Uh. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, we're going to send out Psyduck. I wasn't supposed to hit Water Gun, I was supposed to do Confusion. Okay, and Hala is going to use either a Super Potion or a Full Restore. I guarantee it. And he didn't. I'm like really surprised that he didn't. That's shocking. But as the Kahuna battles get tougher, I'm pretty sure they'll be using like potions and full restores. I don't want to waste a revive on NK, although the flying move will be, you know, really helpful. Oh, I forgot Crab Brawler and this Normalium Z or this Fightium Z, whichever one. This move actually might make me faint, guys. And it did. I am out for the count. No, not Grubbin. Okay, Rock Ruff, my money is on you. Wow. And his attack rose, too. So the moves will hit even harder. Yeah, I think I'm dead. Yeah. I'm not doing too good in this battle. Come on, Tarkat, do not leave me hanging. Please don't. I do not want to have to lose this battle. Okay, he flinched, he flinched, he flinched. So that gives us a little bit of an advantage. And I fainted. Okay, Grubbin, you're the last Pokemon I can count on. Please do not fail me. Okay, good, 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 good. We got this, we got this. <laughs> I thought he was going to use Power Up Punch and knock me out cold. Well played. I got $2,560 for winning. Hmm. The results come as no surprise to me. What a fine trainer and what fine Pokemon, too. Tapu Koko cries out, makes whatever sound he makes. Perhaps Tapu Koko is hoping that a day may come when you will go strong enough, grow strong enough to battle it as well. Except the Z Crystal, it allows trainers to share their power with their partner Pokemon. The grand trial is complete. You obtained a Phytnium Z. You open up the Z Crystal's pocket and put the Phytnium Z away inside. Observe. 
If you wish to use the fighting type Z-Power, move your arm like this. Then bend your hips like this and pose. Now then, Dominique, with this victory, you have cleared all of the trials on Melee Melee Island, the first of Alola's Islands. The Melee Melee stamp is proof of your accomplishments. With it, Pokemon up to level 35, even those you received in a trade, will obey you. The moon in the daytime, the sun at night. Now to see if you can pour your heart into something that cannot be seen, but is very much real. As you continue on your island challenge, consider what makes up the people and Pokemon that you meet. Both what you can see and what you cannot. You will surely meet Tapu Koko again someday. Okay, we're about to get the Tauros on the ride pager. Whoa there, Tauros. I've got an idea. How about I set you up so you can ride my Tauros whenever you like? No reason why he shouldn't get to enjoy the island challenge too. I'll take care of all the little, the little things you'll need in order to ride a Pokemon. Woohoo! We got our ride pager. Why don't you hop on there? Hmm, the ride outfit looks a little, the ride outfit for the Pokemon looks a little different than it did last year. I have to look at my copy of Sun and Moon to see the difference. Here in Alola, our Pokemon lend us their strength and let us ride about on them. Let me explain some of the gear I gave you. Your ride pager is a tool that lets you summon a ride Pokemon. According to the instructions, you need only press the Y button to turn on your ride pager. Use the B button to dash. And your riding wear will be the special outfit you wear when riding Pokemon. Have a little romp around Alola with Taros here. I'm sure you'll be charmed by him. When you use your ride page, your ride Pokemon will kindly come running to help you whenever you may be, wherever you may be. Congratulations. Your performance has been a delight ever since I first laid eyes on you at the trainer's school. I'm amazed that you won without even using your Z-Power. Oh, I know. Why not stop by the Alola Photo Club for a commemorative photo? With Tauros, you can be down to Haole City in no time at all. With a little help from Tauros, you'll be able to smash right through those big route rocks on Route 1. All right, I got a little something for you, too. You obtain TM54, which is False Swipe. We all know what False Swipe does. That'll come in handy for SOS battling and catching the legendary Pokemon. False Swipe is a move that will leave your opponent with one HP when you attack. Keep on catching more and more Pokemon. Yeah, and let Ro and let Rotom learn all about him. But first, you've got to go let your mom know what you're up to. When you're done with that, head on down to the, the marina in Howley City. Oh, wait, what did we miss? What do you mean? You know, the one Lima mentioned, he totally had the right idea. You should go to the Alola Photo Club and take a special photo to remember clearing your first grand trial. Good thinking, Hal. And once you finish your grand trial, you'll be doing the same thing, yeah? Oh, I have to go back to the Melee Melee Meadow and explore a little bit. 
I didn't check out the rest of Seaward Cave because of the Ultra Recon Squad. And we're gonna make a beeline really quickly and we're gonna go check out. Yeah, we're gonna go check that out first. Because I forgot to explore Seaward Cave. How silly of me! Okay, let's go back to Seaward Cave really quickly. Oh, I forgot that. A super potion. I could have sworn I already checked out that area to the fullest, but I didn't. Do we have any repels? No, we do not. We have no repels. Since I'm going to, like, explore this area really- Ooh, a petal Hey, Okay, let's see if we can catch this one. Oh yeah, I have to go back to the shopping district to show that guy the Pokedex so I can get my Ultra Balls. Hopefully this stays in the Pokeball. Come on, come on. There we go, yes. Pet Petty Lil's date, Petty Lil's data will be added to the Pokedex. No, I don't name my Pokemon. Petal- Oh, I forgot. I put Ekans in the- Alright, let's see what we can find. And let's try not to get attacked by a lot of wild Pokemon. Ooh, Smoochum! We don't have Smoochum! Might as well catch Pokemon while we're in here with whatever Pokeballs we have. Just want to chuck a great ball at it and just hope for the best. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Okay. Hopefully, it stays in a regular Pokeball. And it doesn't. You know what? Forget this. Ooh, what's that? What's that? What's that? The heal ball. We can't access the area where the water is because we don't have a Lapras or a, uh, Sharpedo. We're gonna run from this battle, too. I don't really have to... Okay, and that's another wild Pokemon that we've encountered. We have a Zubat, so we're not even gonna attempt to catch it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and jump down this ledge. Jump down that one. Ooh, what's this? We found an expert belt. And we got stopped by another wild Pokemon. I'm gonna run from this Zubat too, it's really annoying.
Jump down that ledge, jump down that one. Keep getting stopped. This is annoying. Okay, we're just gonna run. Another ledge to jump down, and we're at the opposite end of the cave. We are on Kalae Bay, and we found a dive ball. Will you open the bottle? Yeah, we're gonna open it. To the person who finds this letter. Please find a way to deliver it to my little sister. She lives in Iki Town on Mele Mele Island. The place where I am now is really weird and looks unbelievable, but all the people here have been really nice. So I'm okay. I hope I'll see you again someday. Be safe, your big brother. I wonder if we'll get to meet again tonight. Oh, I can't wait until the sun goes down. But we have to come back for that. I wonder what that was about. We're just gonna hurry up and use an escape rope to get on out. <laughs> Took us right to- Maybe it's because that was the exit. We were the closest. All these side ducks are really getting in it. Hmm. Yeah, I said we were gonna run. Let's get up out of let's get out of here. The super potion. Another freaking side up. Okay. Luck needs to be on my side so I can hurry up and get out of here. Maybe if I stop speaking about not wanting Pokemon to appear, they'll actually not appear. Okay, we don't have a deli bird, but we can always come back for it. Hmm. Hey, come on, come on, come on. <sighs> We're right by the door and we got attacked. Freaking Zubat. Okay, let's just let's just go. Oh, we didn't get stopped by any wild Pokemon. That's freaking amazing. Let's run back to Iki Town about that letter. Hope we can get there as quick as we can. Okay, we're here. Well, we're close. Hey, it says my little sister, Iki. Okay, I think it's the lady in... Okay, yeah, that's her. This is her. Did you need this old woman for something? You told the old woman about the letter you found on the beach. But that can't be. It was for my older brother? Truly? It's been so many years since he disappeared, but at least I know that he was alright. 
Even if he was far away from me, knowing that he was happy is enough for me. Thank you for telling me what you found. I hope this may repay you in some way. It was my most precious treasure as a child. Sand I gathered with my brother. Ooh, Stardust. Stardust are sold for very high prices. And if I could ask just one more favor, if you do happen to find anything else like that letter again, please do deliver it. It might just be an irreplaceable treasure for that person, you see? It has been for me. Okay, so back to our- what's that? Looks like a totem sticker, but we don't- oh, we have- we have Tauros, matter of fact. Go ahead and pick it up. We now have 14 totem stickers. Okay, let's go ahead- ooh. Explore this part, see. We got stopped. Do I even have a young goose? I'm not sure. No, I don't have one, but... Young goose isn't that important of a Pokemon to me, so when I get around to, you know, doing the decks, then yeah, that's when we'll finish it. And we found a nest ball. You always get stopped by a wild Pokemon as soon as you're like about to leave a cave or a patch of grass. Okay, what's over here? A Bonsly, okay. The encounter rate for Bonsly was like super rare in Pokemon Sun and Moon, so I'm definitely going to go ahead and catch this. I don't care if I have to waste all my Pokeballs on it, I need to get this one. <sighs> Why couldn't you have just stayed in the ball, Bonsly? Why? Whatever, I'm just gonna run from it. Because I can just breed a pseudo Wudo. Like, half of these Pokemon, I can just breed from my copy of Moon and. Yeah. So. Oh, I wasn't supposed to jump down that edge. Okay, let's go back. And we get stopped again! Aw, a little rock buff. I need to catch, like, a few more rock roughs so I can have each form of the lichen rock, but not right now. Okay, ooh, a nugget! That's worth a lot of money. Jump! Okay, that was a bit of a shortcut. We have to go to the marina. So it makes sense that we go. Yeah, that on the map that looks like we're going to the Alola Photo Club. Wait, we have a shortcut. We don't even have to go all the way around. These gosh darn wild Pokemon are really annoying. Now, wasn't that just easy? Cues the staples button music, that was easy. I wonder how long this is going to take. I don't want to try the photo club now. Let's 
Um. We're just gonna take a random picture. Ooh, I like that. Okay, I like this one better. Okay, I like that one. Okay, we're done. You got a photo album. Seems like something we'll put in the key items pocket. No, I'm not adding any stickers. No, I don't want any stickers. Is this okay, yeah, we said we were... This here, that there... Yeah, I think we're pretty decent for now. Toracat, Grubbin, NK, and my Rock Ruff. I'm pretty sure I can teach Rock Ruff some fighting. Well, yeah, when it evolves into Lycan Rock, yeah, I can. Oh, look at Dartrix! I bet you and Toracat got a great shot together at the photo club, right? Now it's time for our next stop, Akala Island, here we come. Yeah, let's get going. Man, once I get started with all the, the poses and the stickers and things, I can't stop myself. I'll spend ages making sure Dartrix is looking awesome, so I should hold off on taking any photos of my own for now. Wouldn't want to leave you bored and hanging. Just think, I wonder what kind of trials we'll face next. Good timing! I've just got the old girl all ready to set sail. Oh yeah, so about that professor. I was thinking that I'd really like to head to Akala Island with Mantine, and I want to see Dominique take a shot at Mantine surfing too. Shoots, yeah, the man team from Big Wave Beach on Route 2, you saw them, right? Well, Hal, it's all up to you. The Island Challenge is all about journeying together with Pokemon, after all. Yeah, so I'll see you on Akala, Isle Akala Island, Professor. Dominique, if you want to go together, I'll be at Route 2's Big Wave Beach. Um, I was hoping to ask a favor of you, Dominique, if that's alright. You see, Nebby is... its real home is far away from here and I want to help it get home. It's like I told you before, Nebby saved my life once when I was in trouble. Now I want to save it. I feel like there's not much I can do on my own since I'm not a Pokemon trainer. But if I had a real trainer like you helping me, then maybe, but I probably shouldn't ask a near stranger to help, right? I know it's just my own wish and has nothing to do with you. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so glad. I really didn't know what else to do. Then I suppose the two of us will get to see one another on Akala Island next, too. Okay, so guys, I am going to stop right here. In this episode, we got to challenge the Grand Trial with Kahuna Hala. We got our Fight Neum Z. We got our Tauros on the ride pager. And now we're about to go head on over to the beach and do the Mantine Surf and go over to Akala Island. Hope you guys like this video. Be sure to hit the like button and drop a comment and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the link in the description about the Streamlabs donations. It really helps. It, it really does. And I'll see you guys next time.